but of course, uh, Bills' original main was Ganondorf, so he probably feels really comfortable in this matchup. Um, but Boyko is very unusual, very smart. Uh, you know, the matchup knowledge is not going to be enough. Uh, Bills is going to have to be adaptive. Boyko SDs in five seconds. The quickest stock of all time. He's right on Bills' face, though. He does not care. He's already put 40% on, and on Ganondorf, that's kill percentage. Bills makes it back to stage, though. Still hasn't put a, put a hit on yet. Finally gets a little bit of a string going. Wow, the Dacus was very, very uh, aggressive and gets punished for it. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for a forward throw, but he was getting close to kill percentage. It was a little bit of a mix-up. Oh, the grab should kill now. He back throws, and it's done! As, that SD d does not rattle Boyko at all. It's fools, bruh. It's fools. Okay. Bills has got to find a way to keep Ness out. Ness has those, that stubby range, but he's got so many good angles with double jump canceling. Look at the way Boyko's keeping him in the air with magnets, and he is almost about to take the stock. Oh, and the DI wasn't enough to save him. He is out of there. Bills is done, foe. Okay, and he's just going to take to the platform, and, you know, he picked up... Basically, he took two stocks with only taking 57%. That's pretty good. He's feeling pretty confident. He has no need to approach, but Bills goes for the manly stop! All right, keeping him above him is a good idea, but Boyka has a great uh, come down with a PK fire. Hopefully next time, um, Bills will be ready for that. Okay, he takes the trade for a KO. Um, that'll even up stocks. Catching him in the air. Lots of weird counter hits and counter hitboxes coming out. Ooh, that's for two stomps. Um, wow, okay. That won't really give him a lot of damage, but it is psychological. That forward smash is very powerful. Boyko always finding the forward airs in the air. When when Bills commits to a jump or an aerial, he finds that angle in which Ganondorf's hitbox is not there and gets the fair out. Um, okay, can he do this? Gets back on stage. Oh my god, he actually gets killed. And yes, there is a little bit of a commentary delay. Uh, we're not sure how to fix it. I apologize. I cannot predict the future. I can only commentate what's happening on the screen. Oh my god, that's boot up the stage. Okay. Nice. Alright. Um, Bill's spacing out a little bit, but when Boyko gets in, it's a real problem for him. And he just, you know, takes the dive. Yo, uh, Arrow. Arrow, can you make sure the chat is... Oh, yeah, like that. Like, keep chat behind if you can. Thanks, man. Because he, he, switched, he switched to the, like, desktop. It was just cleavage. Not much, man. Alright. Side sting the battlefield. Wow, gets a big stomp into back air. It's like, oh my god, nearly 60%. Three hits. Ganondorf just hits so hard. And Bill's in here now. In here now! Woo! He's like, that was a fluke. I got my own zero to deaths. Definitely looking more comfortable on this stage. Um, Boyko is not going to be able to get those counter hit uh, fares as much, but on the plat on the other hand, his platform, his uh, punish game will be enhanced by the platforms, where he can really stomp people down and set up tech situations. Um, it's an uh, interesting trade off for him. Um, yeah, my read would be that the stage favors um, Gendorf's neutral, but Ness's punish game, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to try to commentate more generally instead of about specifics so that you don't have to worry about the delay. Ness very weak off stage. Um, and you just have to commit to the last hits of the hitbox on the PK Thunder 2 where he's not he's vulnerable. And you can do it. And the other thing about him is he can also get 
gimped easily if you just literally put your ass right down on the PK Thunder. Would you put your ass right down on that PK Thunder? He'll die. He got nothing unless he's right next to um, the ledge. This is down air, man. Such an incredible move for setting up tech chases. So quick. One of the most rewarding uh, and fast down airs in the game. Really glues the character together. Ganondorf can sneak through the platforms here with his big ol' aerials. Oh, wow! Okay. And this is back to a start killing about 140%. Once it's uh, around that percentage, unless you're like really being thrown from one side of the stage to the other, really there's very few DIs that will save you. Um, float is an amazing way to wait out a recovery like Ness's, um, and we saw Bills use it very well. Um, Back air is so good, man. It's uh, Ness's back air. It sets up so many situations. And fair, too. Like, fair is a more neutral, heavy game move, and uh, back air is a more punish heavy move. But uh, they got a little bit of both going for them. So, what, um, as I mentioned earlier, one way you can edge guard Ness is to just wait for the PK Thunder 2. And just punish it as it's very laggy and has very little invincibility at the end. And actually negative disjoint. It's very fast, so it's easy to get hit by, but... Oh man, we have 12 viewers! <laughs> that is funny. That is real funny. Wow. Ness's jab has a reverse hitbox which I see Boyko use unlike any other Ness. And okay. All right. Bill's redeeming himself from last week a little bit. Takes the game off Boyko. A lot of people think um, Marth... Uh, I'll play. Full I'll do it. Like, like I'll do it after this when I'll grab somebody. Uh, this might be a long ass match, though. Boyko is a very patient neutral, so I understand the Dream Hill Zone pick. He can really uh, wait out a lot of stuff Ganondorf can do. Um, but Ganondorf, if he DIs high, he'll at least be able to always make it to the stage. Um, but, you, oh, wow, Magnet as an edge guard is so good on these melee characters. Wow, running around on the shield is so good. Something I should do more often. Nice is out of shield options, but also actually like kind of underrated. Pretty fast. Yeah. I mean. How would you feel about taking over for the rest of the commentary on this match so I can play match? Alright, I'll finish it. Yeah, I'll finish it. Oh, wow. Dude, when Ganondorf gets a hit off, it's so meaty, so muscular, so pectoral, you know what I'm saying? But then his legs don't, don't take him back to the stage. He can't make it back to the stage. Also, shout out to Sora in the chat. Wish you were here, buddy. I want to take my first set off you. Nice tech to the stage by Boyko. And uh, Bills has been going for a similar option float to forward air. He might need to mix it up a little bit on the edge guards um, in order to get in Boyko's head. He's finding ways to get through. Um, oh, 
Uh, that down B was uh, a little bit, a little bit greedy. Nice. Ganondorf dropping through platforms is very scary. <laughs> LOL. Ganon's combos always look so funny. These platforms are still doing Bill some favors. Ganondorf can still throw hitboxes through them, even though they're a little higher up than a stage like Battlefield. And two bats will clear it out. A tech won't save you. I very much like that option by Bills to uh, tech, tech that bat. Will Bills be able to take the stock and even it up? Right now it's looking like, okay, Ganondorf needs just that patience to get a hit in and then he can really put Ness on tilt. Um, but he's got to find a couple of neutral options if he's going to take two stocks out. Okay, again, that same option I was saying, and, that, and, Bill, and Boyko is ready for it. I'm going to go play my